Hey guys, today we're working on a Mazda 6. I know a lot of you guys are uh, experiencing this issue out there, so I decided to make a video to help you guys out, hopefully. So what problem we got here is we got, uh, the customers complaining about radios not working. We got a whole bunch of things that weren't working on this one before. Radio wasn't working, the door locks on the door weren't working with the key off, so when the key's off, they're supposed to cycle. And also with the, with the key fob, they weren't cycling on and off either. Couldn't lock them and unlock them. The lights up top here weren't working. The lights in the sun visors weren't working. Lights on the bottom of the door panel, when you open the door, weren't working. So pretty much a whole bunch of electrical problems and they were all pretty much leading to this one fuse on the bottom here and by the, by the kick panel underneath the steering wheel. All this one fuse here, the 15 amp fuse. The name of that is if you look at it here, this guy right here called a room fuse. Pretty weird ass name for a fuse, but I guess if this was one little room, that would be pretty much the master fuse for controlling a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, what we decided was we pretty much had to disconnect a whole bunch of things. <clears throat> and then start connecting them one by one at a time and we went through like 10 fuses trying to figure out this problem and it ended up being something so easy and something so stupid but anyways electrical problems aren't really that fun to chase around anyways so uh when we got down to the bottom of it we took out the power to the radio the power to the cluster we took out we disconnected this guy up here thinking that maybe that had a a short in it disconnected both of the sun visor and we pretty much connected each one with the new fuse inside of the, the fuse box and we were waiting until each thing that we connected would short out the fuse so at the end of the day the problem ended up being the sun visor on uh, the driver's side so this was the guy causing all those fancy problems and if you look at this, when we pulled this guy out, look at that. I don't know what happened, how it happened, but that guy would definitely do it. So yeah, we, uh, we disconnected this one. We got everything else connected on it. The fuse is still good. And now we got the radio working. And then as soon as we connect this wire back up here, the connector, we'll get that fuse to blow right away. So yeah, if you guys are having this kind of issue with this fuse, I would start at the easy spots first, take out the, the sun visors, this light up here, disconnect the connectors in the back, try those out. Hopefully it's one of those, those would be the easiest. Otherwise you'll have to get into fancier things where you gotta unplug the radio and the cluster. If that doesn't do it, then you gotta go into the door panels and disconnect the lights off of those so yeah hopefully this video helps you guys out if you guys are having that issue and uh hope it's an easy fix for you so thank you guys for watching and uh good luck with the repair